Hey, I'm Patrick from Prospect Labs and today I'm going to teach you how to find anybody's email address from LinkedIn groups. We're going to use a tool called Phantom Buster and another tool called Snowgirl. Um, out of all of the hundreds of teams that I train from startups, SMBs, corporates, that sort of thing, nobody's ever heard of these tools. So it always gives me a huge sort of uh, gratification to show you how to use these tools and the results it can get. It'll take about sort of two minutes to teach you these skills really quick and I hope you find it helpful. Keep in touch. Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to find anybody's email address from a LinkedIn group. So if you think of the context of why you'd want to do this. So LinkedIn is an amazing platform for connecting with people, for building relationships, for generating loads of leads. But sometimes other industries are just perfect at uh, receiving emails and not so active on LinkedIn. So people may have a LinkedIn profile, but they may want to prefer to get emails. So I'm going to show you how to find people's LinkedIn profiles from a group and then how to find the email address. So the first thing I need you to do is on your search, try and find out what sort of groups you want. So I always think about things like growth hacking because my target audience are people that are into marketing, that sort of thing. When you type growth hacking on search, you'll see all people. Now remember, we want to find groups, not people. So if you click more, go to groups, there you go, a drop down of all these groups. So I'm going to pick one that I know I'm not part of and let's think of this one, growth hacking tactics, New York. Let's see who's part of that. And as you can see, there's about 642 people. So I'll be going to New York in the future to do a few talks. And so this will be ideal that I can connect with people, maybe meet up with when I'm there, email, message, that sort of thing. So the first thing you need to do is request to join. Once you request to join, you'll see successfully sent the request. And it usually takes anything from a couple of hours to a couple of days to get approved, depending on the group owner and how quickly they approve you. So the next thing is you've applied to join the group. Now you've joined the group. So if we go back to home, and to find your group, if you just go to work and then groups, and this will give a list of all the groups that you're part of. So the group that I want to scrape today is online marketing and media advertising. <clears throat> so there's about 16,000 people in that group and I want to scrape a couple of thousand of them to target. So the first thing to remember is this is the LinkedIn group URL, but these are all of the members. So we're going to scrape using the group URL, this one here. So to do this, we're going to use a tool called Phantom Buster. So this is the tool here. I'll scroll to the top. Phantom Buster. And if you click on Phantom Buster, you go to API store. So Phantom Buster is like a shopping list just for cool growth hacking techniques. And it's amazing how many companies and startups I work with that don't know about this and are doing so many things manually or they're trying to build their own tools. So I highly recommend you have a look at this. And in other videos, I'm going to cover all the different aspects of this. But to start with, the tool we're going to use is called LinkedIn Group Extractor. So it is this one here, LinkedIn Group Members, sorry. So if you click on that, and it's pretty easy to follow the instructions if you scroll down, but I'm just going to show you how to do it one by one. So you click Use this API. You need to have a Phantom Buster account to do this, but they have a free trial. And even if you're scraping a couple of hours a day, it's only $20 to $30, so really cheap. So to get this going, click Configure Me and your session cookie. So to find your session cookie, just follow exactly what I do. I think it may be different depending on what browsers, what computers you do, but I'm using a Mac and I'm using Chrome. So to do this, all you need to do is right click and go to inspect. Click on the top and go to application, go to cookies and go to LinkedIn. And then you're looking for LinkedIn at. So that one there and make sure you copy the whole string. It's pretty long. So if you close that down, Go back to Phantom Buster and paste that in. There you go. Next thing here, group URL or spreadsheet URL. You don't need that because we're not going to do bulk set of time. So it's just one at a time. So the next thing to do is, um, okay, sorry, paste a LinkedIn group URL. You're right. So it's this one here. So the group that we're scraping, it's going to be this URL. Make sure you don't scrape if you click on members, other pages. It's got to be the URL of the group. So if we click that there, yeah, there you go. Column name where LinkedIn groups yours are stored. I'm just going to say test. That's fine. Number of LinkedIn groups to scrape per launch is one. Number of members to extract per group. You can only extract 2,500 at a time, but I don't recommend that. So today we are going to do 500. And then name of result in CSV file. I'm going to call this New York. And click save. Okay, so it's all set up now. So with a bit of luck, if we click launch, this should start a run. And what you're going to see is connecting to LinkedIn, LinkedIn connected, trying to find the group, 
part of the group and then scraping. So it's scraping 2,500 members, as you can see here, I'm connected to the group um, and it's gonna do maybe 500. So 100 at a time, then 200, then 300, then that sort of thing. So I'll leave this just quickly to scrape. Perfect, so as you can see, 500 members scraped. That took something like 49 seconds, really quick. And you can see what happens here. So if we click download and we open this up, So here we go. So these are the results we're going to see of people once it loads up. And as you can see, profile name, name, last name, first name, headline, timestamp, query, that sort of thing. So one thing you could do is there's another tool called DuckSoup, which I'll show in the future, where you could just use this profile and revisit all of these people to connect with them. But we're not going to do that. In this video, I want to show you how to find the email address. So I'm just going to save this to somewhere clear that I can find it. And desktop, save. Okay, and then we're now going to show you how to find the email addresses. So that's Phantom Buster done. So let's close that down. Okay, so the next tool we're now going to use is Snowvio. So if you imagine from LinkedIn and then Phantom Buster, we've scraped the group and we've got about 500 LinkedIn profiles. So the next tool is to convert those LinkedIn profiles into email addresses. Snowvio is an incredible tool that has loads of functionalities such as scraping websites, scraping LinkedIn, finding email addresses, um, email campaigns, loads of different tools that we'll cover in future videos. But from now, I think the main value is just showing you how to find an email address. So once you log in, you'll see a screen like this and you need to click add a list. So this will add a list to help you find all the data. Once you've done that, the next section is to go to tools and go to social URL search. And then under choose file, add the file that you downloaded from Phantom Buster. So I've saved on my desktop and click open. And if it's working, it'll say the search for this cost will 500 credits. If it doesn't show that it shows zero, it means the date is a bit wrong. If there's any problem with the data and you need to format it, try and look at the LinkedIn URLs and make sure there's no things like apostrophes or uh, exclamation marks, percentages, things that, things that aren't formatted correctly. So the LinkedIn URLs should be URLs that work. So that might be a reason you might have struggles. But if it does work well, just click start search. And you'll see it's starting to run through here and it's working through all the links. So it takes a couple of minutes and before you know it, it's got 500 LinkedIn URLs and it's finding the profiles. Okay, and then once it's completed, click open list. And then here we go. This is the list of people scraped. So, so far, it takes a little bit of a few minutes to find it. But so far, we've got 255 emails from 500 people. Um, and just to explain these, two means it's people that they can't find emails. 255 is valid, so all of these will work. 87 means it's not sure. And 34 means it's invalid. So whenever I'm sending email campaigns, I always send to them. And if the data set's quite small, I'll send to them as well. But for the purpose for this, I'll always send to these emails here. So just an amazing way of scraping LinkedIn groups, finding the email address. And then from here, all you need to do is to export this data and then upload it to an email software of your choice. Hey, so I hope you found the video useful and a few things to take from the training. Step one is whenever you're scraping from LinkedIn, take it slowly. Don't scrape two and a half thousand people at a time. Do maybe 500, 600 a day spread over a couple of days. The other thing is with Snowvio, you'll find that there's three different types of emails verified, not sure, and not valid. Make sure you only email people that are verified. This means that you'll probably get about a 95 to 97% accuracy and very few of the emails will bounce. Hope you found it helpful and look forward to seeing you in future videos. Take care.